Today what I want to do is give you attraction marketing tips, exactly four of them. And I don't know if you've heard of attraction marketing, but when I first got started in this business, it became a term that everybody tried to use. Hey, before we get going, I have a great free ebook for you. The easiest and quickest ways you can generate leads. And that's all what it's about. I'm talking about quality leads. Quality means people that are actually looking for your service or product. And that's part of what we're talking about today. So hit that button below. I have a description and a link for it, a link in the description for it. Hit that link and you can get your free book. So what the heck is attraction marketing? You know, when I first heard about it, I thought, oh man, it's not going to fit me because attraction, I just think of beautiful people. But it's way more than that. It's Russell Brunson talked about become your attractive character. See, I in my business, I talk to certain people, right? I attract certain people to me that are looking for what I am trying to teach them, what I am teaching them, not trying, what I am teaching them. So attraction marketing does two things. What you're trying to do is you're bringing people to you through your content, solving their problems, you're attracting people to you and they start reaching out asking you for help, for products, for whatever you have to offer. So again, I'm gonna give you four tips on attraction marketing. The first one is, you know, I, I know you've heard this because I've heard it all the time. If you wanna make yourself visible, you have to produce content. And when you talk about content, one, you have to know who you're talking to. Right? Who are you serving? What part of the industry are you serving? And then when you talk, here's the tip right now. You got to talk about benefits, not the features. You know, if you're talking about a weight loss system and it could be, see, there's three, <laughs> three areas where people teach is the health, wellness, and relationships. So if you're talking about in the health industry and my goodness, you know, you always hear about people talking about losing weight and whatnot. So if you talk about your product and you say it's 16 ounces, it has this in it, it has that in it, nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear what is in it for them. How is it going to help them? They want to see people that have success. So when you start talking about your product, see, I build digital products. People have helped start growing their business. So what I do, I don't tell them, hey, this product has 16 modules. I start telling them how it's going to help them, where it's going to take them in their journey online. That's the first tip. When you're talking, you don't want to talk features. You want to talk benefits all in your content. The second tip, and this was huge because when I got started, I'm going to tell you about my journey a little bit because when I got started I was so excited this is my side hustle I was working nine to five I wanted to create income I wanted to retire and I thought I needed to be all over you really don't you got to pick one platform and there's many of them right are you gonna do it on YouTube are you gonna do it on Facebook are you gonna do it on Facebook pages are you gonna do it in Facebook groups are you gonna do it on Instagram are you going to do it on Pinterest? Are you going to do it on LinkedIn? All these different social media platforms. You just got to pick one and master it. Right? I started out on Facebook. Now I'm doing videos. And there's a reason for it. I'm not going to tell you today, but that's what I'm focusing right now. I am mastering YouTube videos. So benefits, pick one platform. Tip number three is man, and you got to be consistent. People want to find you. You got to pick a schedule, right? If you're going to do Facebook Lives, when are you going to do them? I have a friend by the name of Steve Kribda. He does a Facebook Live every day at 5.30. Like clockwork. I know where I can find Steve. He's an exceptional trainer. Tanya Elise does videos Mondays, and then she does Facebook Lives on Tuesdays. Doesn't matter what you do. I put my YouTube videos up on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 a.m. every morning. Not every morning, every Tuesday and Thursday, but you want to pick a platform 
and then be consistent with it. That's all it is. Now, here's your fourth tip, and, and this is huge, because this is talking about network marketing. This is talking about online marketing. You need to treat your business like it's a million dollar business. And I don't know if that's your goal, is to make a million dollar business. Could be an extra $500 a month. But you need to treat this as a million dollar business. And why am I saying that? Because so many people, it's the entry level to get into a business is so low. See, I come from an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial family. My family had hardware stores. We had three of them. And to get into that franchise, do you think it was going to cost us $500 to put an inventory into a store? Shoot, no, it cost a lot of money. And we treated it like it was a big business, because it was. But when I first got started on in my network marketing business area, I think it cost me $500. And you know, it threw me, because it was just like, well, it, it was almost kind of a hobby. So what you need to do is you need to treat this like it's a million dollar business, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, a million dollar business, because it certainly can be. So let's recap. First of all, if you got any value from this, hit that subscribe button below. Because again, do you remember when I told you I put out my YouTube videos? Tuesday, Thursday mornings at 6 a.m. How-to videos, how to grow your business. So attraction marketing. Right? Bringing people to you. You become the attractive character. It doesn't matter how good looking you are. You become the attractive character that is teaching people. Then when you teach them benefits, not features. Benefits. What's in it for them? Pick one platform. Master it. Be consistent. Right, Find a time when you're going to put your content out and then... The last one is treat this like it's a million dollar business because it certainly can be. Hey, grab my free resource for you down below. It, the link's in the description. It's called the easiest and best ways to generate quality leads. That's what we're talking about, creating leads, people that actually want to buy and or else join what you got going. Then hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, it goes ding, and we both hit that link. Y'all take care.